cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, right away, let's jump into this video. Um, today, I am doing a video here on the Steph Curry 4. So, I decided to go ahead and release the black and white colorway for the Steph Curry 4 simply because um, people were asking about the shoe, when is it going to release, all of this stuff. Um, and I, I I made it because people were asking for it. So I decided to, instead of waiting for me to fix some of the issues with it, just go ahead and release it. So right away, I'm gonna point out the issues so you guys don't ask me about them. Um, the first thing you guys may or may not notice is that logo on the shoe is backwards. Uh, it's supposed to be facing the other way and that's because the game is only using one texture for both shoes and there is a way to get the game to use a texture for the right shoe and a different texture for the left shoe and i am working on that i am working on that yeah i'm gonna have to fix that anyway uh the second issue that i really don't like about this shoe is that the entire upper the black portion of the shoe looks glossy i don't like that um in real life the shoe is kind of glossy, but there's like two different materials for a shoe. So I've got to figure out how to get the game to recognize that the the top upper portion as a different material than the bottom black portion. And then the shoes will look legit. It, it really looks bad in the white colorway, which is why I'm not releasing it. But overall, this, this shoe looks pretty good. So, uh, one little detail, I can't really zoom zoom in too much. Practice doesn't really allow you, there's like a camera angle where you can really get in close to the shoes, but you can't do it in practice, so. But um, that little tab there in gold on the black part of the shoe, uh, that has the logo. I like that detail of the shoe. I really like these shoes in real life. Um, Anyway, so I've bored you guys enough. The link to the shoe is in the description. And right now what I'm going to do is we're going to jump into showing you how to assign the shoe to a player. So if you if you have a roster, of course, just go right into your roster and go to Under Armour. But if you I'm going to go to create a player just because I've already assigned these shoes to a player. So, Josh Jackson, go down to shoes. I, uh, this is not shoes. Shoes, and as you can see, it's the Curry One Low. So, that's what he's wearing as a home, but it's really the Steph Curry Four. So, let's go to his away shoes because he's wearing generic four ways. If you go to colorway, and then find Under Armour. Go to the second row, you'll notice the Curry One Low is not the Curry One Low. It actually has, uh, it actually has a picture of the white Steph Curry 4. Um, so yeah, click on that. Then it has a picture of the Curry One Low. I couldn't figure out how to replace that one. Anyway, click on that and then the shoes will be assigned. So there you have it guys, there you have it. So I think I showed you guys, you know what, let's let's just go back here. Uh, so right now, if, if you know how to, you know, mod and use mods, go ahead, leave the video, go download, put it in your game, play with this, whatever. Um, if you're interested in seeing where I go next with this, then stay tuned. All right, so right now I'm gonna switch the texture for the shoe, let's see. So if I go to the 2K generic, all right, so now maybe I should have released these. I don't know, but I need to make them more goldish. I really like these. Again, the logo is backwards on one of the shoes. Yes, yeah, so I have to fix that one. All right. So if you guys want this shoe, I, 
this shoe is either called the uh, Curry Four Championship or it's called Curry Four Parade. I don't know. It's called one of those. I've seen both names. Um, I do have to fix the gold to make it pop more. Again, I have to fix the upper portion. The black portion needs to look like it's like kind of like sock material or fly knit material. I have to fix that. Um, but if you guys want this shoe, just let me know. Let me go back to the 2K generic. And another one I was thinking of releasing is this one here. This one is actually, oh wait, sorry, that's the same one. So if I go down to generic, all right, this one here, this shoe here, because this shoe is actually shiny in real life. So this is, I really like this one. Again, the logo is backwards over here. I haven't had time to figure that out. I mean, I know how to fix it, it just takes a while to, it takes a lot of steps. All of this modern crap takes a lot of steps. It's not crap, but it takes a lot of steps. If you guys want these, uh, these I believe, well, on my side, I named the file, the Curry 4 Game 4. I believe he wore these in Game 4. If he didn't wear these in Game 4, somebody correct me and let me know which game he wore these in and if you want them. So as of right now, we're just gonna say they're the Curry 4 Game 4 shoes. Um, if you want those, let me know in the comments if you want them how they are right now with the backwards logo on the right foot, you know, or if you want to wait a week for me to try to fix this, then you can do that too, but whatever. So I guess I should show you guys how to. Uh, all right. So as of right now, while I'm making this video, the download is not yet up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pretend that i've already downloaded the files for this so bear with me for a second all right guys so here we go let's see so uh once you download this wherever your downloads go go there and it'll be called the shoe under armor carry four black and white replace curry one low you just want to extract uh extract those files you can do extract here i use seven zip some people use uh win rare or whatever it's called i don't know anyway so then it'll put a folder there and you just want to go inside of that folder, grab everything and copy it. And then you want to just copy it to wherever your 2K17 files are. So like me, uh, this, this is where my 2K17 files are. And here's my modded folder. Again, guys, I've said this before in other videos. Um, you can't just make a modded folder. You have to use the external file plugin tool. I did a video about that on June 24th. Um, so if you don't know how to get the modded folder, then go watch that video. Uh, so go into your modded folder and, you know, just, I've got a lot of stuff in here right now, but all you would need to do is just paste everything. And then like, if something like this comes up, Let's say you already have a shoes folder or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just click yes. And all your files will go where they need to go. Now, if you're afraid you're going to overwrite a previously used mod or mod that you're using, um, this is what I suggest you do. If you've already installed, see, just, oh man. anyway, the modded folder, you can rename the modded folder as long as you have installed the external file plugin tool, then you can make whatever folder you want the modded folder. So I'll rename this one and change it to like modded seven. Uh, anyway, it won't change right now, but I changed this one to modded waiting and then just make whatever folder you want to be the modded one and then paste everything in. Anyway, that's how you do it. So, link in the description by the time I post this video. Enjoy. Bye.